Welcome to Anatomy and Physiology 101. I am your instructor, Cynthia Sanchez, and this tutorial was created especially for you to introduce you to the course and to guide you through navigating this course. This class has both an online lecture component and an in-person laboratory component. MSJC is shifting services and most classes online for the remainder of January. This includes the first two weeks of our hybrid course. The first two weeks of laboratories will be held online. As of February 1st, 2022, we expect to resume laboratories for our class in person. Students planning to take courses on campus in spring 2022 must comply with the vaccine and testing mandate. MSJC's COVID-19 vaccine and testing program has four key components that apply to all students and employees coming onto MSJC campuses. First, masking up when indoors, regardless of vaccination status. Second, completing a daily COVID-19 self-check via cleared for before arriving on campus, regardless of vaccination status. Third, being or getting fully vaccinated or have an approved exemption. Proof of vaccination must be uploaded to cleared for via self-service or submit for a medical or religious exemption via self-service. And fourth, weekly testing. All individuals who are unvaccinated, regardless of exemption status, must test weekly during the spring semester. This class is taught in a hybrid format meaning that labs will take place in person and attendance is required in order to successfully complete this course. For spring 2022, our course will meet in person for a lab on Tuesdays from noon to 2.50 p.m. on the Minifee Valley campus of MSJC in laboratory room 2110. In response to guidance from Riverside County public health officials, MSJC is requiring that all employees, students, and visitors wear a face covering while inside buildings and classrooms. All students attending lab must wear a mask that fully covers the mouth and nose. In addition, everyone must complete the COVID-19 daily checklist before arriving on campus, whether you have been vaccinated or not. For students, the COVID-19 daily checklist can be found under self-service. The lab manual is provided in PDF form at no charge and is downloadable through Canvas. The lecture portion of this class is held completely asynchronously online through Canvas. There will not be any live lectures, though you are responsible for reading the textbook and completing all online assignments, quizzes, and exams. There are no set days or times that you are required to be online for this course. The best way to navigate this course is through the modules page. This course is separated into weekly modules. Each module has a lecture component and a lab component. The lecture component is held asynchronously online. There are no required days or times in which you must be present online for these lectures or lecture assignments. All lecture assignments are due online at the end of the week on Sundays by 11.59 p.m. The lab component of each module requires that you attend lab in person, perform the lab activity, take the quiz, or complete the practical exam. Lab quizzes are given during the first 10 minutes of lab so showing up on time is very important. Showing up late for a quiz or a practical exam will result in a zero for that assignment and makeups are not granted under normal circumstances. On the modules page, you will see a link to our online free textbook, a course calendar, a welcome page along with this video, and a PDF of our lab manual. Most of the modules look very similar to one another. You will notice each module has a lecture component and a laboratory component. The first two weeks of the labs will be completely online due to an uprising in COVID-19 infections. We are expected to resume in-person laboratories as of February 1st. The best way to navigate this course is to go to modules. Once on modules, you can go to the current week and click on the first link. Here you will find the chapter reading and the objectives. 
Each of these links links directly to a free online textbook for you to use for this course. When you are done, you can click Next. Here, you will find study guides and chapter videos. Clicking Next brings you to our first assignment. Each of the weekly discussions are very similar in nature. You will be asked to choose one of the questions below and answer your question fully and completely in 250 words or more. Be sure to be complete and use your own words in order to get full credit for these assignments. Each discussion assignment is worth five points. Next, you will have a chapter exam. The chapter exams have no time limit. However, once you submit an answer to a question, you are not able to go back and change your answers. So be confident of each answer before submitting. Our first lab meeting will be online, so make sure to look over the material carefully and watch the lab safety video. During week one, you must complete lab one and lab two. Lab one is relatively simple. There is a safety quiz and contract. Make sure to view the safety video and look over the safety PowerPoint before attempting the quiz. The instructions for the safety quiz are as follows. You will print out the file, complete the questions by hand, print, add section number 4174, and sign and date at the bottom of the page. Then scan or take a photo of the document. Upload your scan or photo into Canvas for credit. Please retain your original and bring it to you when we resume in-person lab meetings. This paper must be kept on file with the department. Once you've completed your safety quiz, please move on to Laboratory 2. These assignments also have no time limit, so please take your time and read over the material carefully before attempting these assignments. For Lab 2, a worksheet in a quiz format on organ functions and anatomical terms. Our Week 2 is also going to be held online. Here, you can see Chapter 2 objectives and links to each of the readings, our Week 2 discussion assignment, and a crossword puzzle. For these crossword puzzles, you will go to the link provided, complete the crossword, go to Print, choose Print or Download as PDF, and save the PDF file to your computer. Then, Upload your completed PDF crossword file into Canvas. Most weeks for lecture, you will have a discussion assignment and a crossword assignment. At the end of each chapter, you will also have a chapter exam. Once we resume in-person laboratories, most labs will look something like this. You will have a small pre-laboratory quiz that you should do before entering the lab. This is worth one point. We will usually have an in-person lab quiz that covers the material from the previous lab. Then you may begin working on your laboratory assignments. It is okay to work in groups, but make sure to enter your work individually so that you can get credit for it. Before you are able to leave the lab, you must individually complete an exit quiz. Once you have finished your exit quiz, you may raise your hand and be signed off by our instructor to leave the class. Let's take a look at the breakdown of the course. This course is worth a total of 1,000 points. There are 600 points possible for the lecture portion and 400 points possible for the laboratory portion. The lecture assignments include 16 discussion assignments, 16 crossword puzzles, 11 chapter exams, three lecture quizzes, and one online lecture final exam. The lab assignments include two lab quizzes, eight in-person lab quizzes, 17 worksheet or workbook assignments, five exit quizzes, three practical exams, and one online lab final exam. We follow the standard grading scale as shown here. The best way to reach me is via email at csanchez at msjc.edu. Office hours will be conducted on Tuesdays and Thursdays from noon to 2 p.m. when classes are not meeting. When classes are back in session, I would like to hold one of our office hours immediately after lab class. This tends to be convenient for students. So once we resume in-person teaching, office hours will be Tuesdays from 3 to 4 p.m. in our lab room, and Thursdays, noon to 2 p.m. via Zoom or by appointment upon request. To request an appointment, simply send me an email.
Thank you for watching.